As the world searches for a clear answer in the energy crisis we are facing, biofuel seems to be gaining popularity due to the many benefits it has over other alternatives. Biofuels, for starters, are completely renewable, unlike fossil fuels. They also have a specific energy comparable to the gasoline in your car, unlike batteries. And they burn fairly clean, producing nearly 50% fewer emissions. But more on that in a minute. Things like massive cargo ships are so large it isn't feasible to power them with batteries. And planes need much higher energy-dense storage than currently possible in batteries. Biofuel provides a solution to the fast dwindling reserves of fossil fuels on this planet. The major advantage to ethanol in general, in whatever way it is produced, is the ability to burn much cleaner than typical gasoline. That isn't to say it doesn't produce greenhouse gases, but because of the extra OH group on the end, oxygen is more attracted to the ethanol, allowing it to burn more completely. This produces much less carbon monoxide which is poisonous. The OH group is not present in hydrocarbons like ethane, which is why they are considered not as clean to burn. Furthermore, the reason biofuel is so impressive as a fuel of the future is it is completely carbon neutral. Because the plants intake carbon to build cellulose, when the cellulosic ethanol is burnt, the CO2 released is the same amount absorbed. This is unlike fossil fuels, as no carbon is being reabsorbed, making it a carbon-positive fuel. While biofuels certainly have many benefits, it is a specific type of biofuel, called cellulosic ethanol, which is revolutionizing the energy sector. As the name would suggest, it is produced by fermenting the cellulose of plants, as opposed to the edible parts of the plant, such as the fruit. Using cellulose from plants is advantageous as the edible parts of the plant are reserved for livestock or human populations. This avoids the problem of the increasing competition for grain and corn, which may drive the price upwards. The materials to make ethanol are already plentiful, as 323 million tons of cellulose-containing biomass are thrown away per year in the US alone. Converting this to ethanol could account for nearly 30% of the annual fuel consumption in the US. The process of turning cellulose into ethanol starts at the plant itself. Throughout the growth of the plant, CO2 and H2O are taken up, and O2 is released. Then the pretreatment alters the cellulose with sulfuric acid to prep it for the enzymes. Once the enzymes have turned the cellulose into simple sugars, Fermentation can take place, turning the glucose into ethanol. Finally, the ethanol is combusted, where CO2 and H2O are released, and O2 is used. With this cycle, we can clearly see how biofuels are carbon neutral, though the process is fairly long and is the major disadvantage to cellulosic biofuel production. With starch and sugar-based biofuels, the pretreatment and enzyme treatment can be completely removed from the production cycle meaning faster and simpler production. To give a better representation of the advantages of cellulosic ethanol, we are going to make some comparisons to corn-based ethanol and gasoline. Now an important indicator of most fuels is the refinement efficiency, or the energy needed to produce a unit of fuel compared to the energy output. So refining one liter of gasoline requires 1.6 kilowatt hours, produces 8.9 kilowatt hours. If we divide 8.9 by 1.6, we get 5.6, or 560%. The refinement efficiency of corn-based ethanol is much lower, around 67%. And finally, cellulosic ethanol has the capacity to produce 6 times, or 600% more energy than it takes to produce. So the refinement efficiency of cellulosic ethanol is slightly above gasoline. Now if we take a look at the raw materials needed to produce a litre of fuel, the results are much different. 11.4 kilograms of bitumen, a viscous substance containing hydrocarbons, is needed to produce 1 litre of gasoline. A stark difference to the mere 3.1 kilograms of corn needed for corn-based ethanol. Cellulose ethanol is in the middle, with 4.7 kilograms of cellulose needed for 1 litre. The final and most well-known measurement of fuels is the specific energy. 
Here, ethanol produces 29.7 megajoules per kilogram, whereas gasoline produces 47.3 megajoules per kilogram. Cellulosic ethanol is fairly similar to gasoline, being more economical to produce, but having a slightly lower specific energy. Because of this, ethanol could quite easily replace gasoline in the future. Due to the many advantages of cellulosic ethanol and biofuels in general, the world has already begun adopting them in place of traditional gasoline. Cars, buses, and even airplanes have been fitted to run on biofuel, and many more are to come. While most cars will likely become battery powered in the next decades, I do believe that planes and larger ships will run on biofuel in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more content just like this.